Hello, my name is Shadi Daher. I'm an oral surgeon with Bicon, and today we will talk about the replacement of a missing maxillary second bicuspid. In this area, commonly the maxillary sinus is in moderate to high proximity. The options to, re to placing implants include placing the uh, implant at an angle to avoid the sinus. That usually compromises the angle of restoration, i.e. the angle of the abutment. If the angle of the abutment is not compromised, the floor of the sinus will have to be manipulated with an internal or lateral sinus lift. Even a shorter implant, such as a 5 or a 4.5 by 8 millimeters, will require the manipulation of the floor of the sinus if uh, the angle is not compromised. Once the floor is uh, avoided, the angle may become compromised again. So for this case, we have elected to use an ultra-short implant at 6 millimeters that will uh, avoid the sinus floor altogether without compromising the angle of restoration. The basic bicon technique calls for the use of a pilot burr. The pilot burr is spinning at 1100 RPM and therefore requires irrigation as it will generate heat. The irrigant can be normal saline or sterile water and it is usually external irrigation. The irrigant serves as a lubricant, it serves as a um, coolant and of course as a cleaner for the flutes of the uh, burr. After the pilot hole is created, it is checked with a paralleling pin. The position of the implant must be verified uh, either with the adjacent teeth or with a vacupress tent or another surgical guide of your choice. If the pilot hole is to your satisfaction, you can move on to the final or finalization of the osteotomy. And that is accomplished with the use of uh, latch type or hand reamers. The reamers, just as the, as the name implies, uh, do not affect the angulation or the depth, uh, i.e. the length of the implant. They will only affect the width of the osteotomy. And that width um, has to be optimal to the maximum uh, that is feasible in this location, such as four and a half or five whenever possible. However, for instance, in the area of the anterior uh, mandible, going uh, wider than four or four and a half may be counterproductive. Keeping that in mind, in this case, we have selected uh, to place a five by six millimeter implant. The latch reamers and hand reamers, uh, as all the uh, Bicon surgical instruments, have a half a millimeter increment as we step wider. So the first one is 2.5 millimeter, and the following one is 3 millimeters, and so on. As you, you see, the um, uh, reaming at half millimeter increments only shaves a quarter millimeter off of the sides of the osteotomy. Because of the um, action of reaming um, and because it is done under very low speed, there is no need for irrigation. The speed at which the reaming is done is 50 RPM or less. This allows for an atraumatic placement and for harvesting of bone. Continuing uh, up to three and a half, four and four and a half, and finally five millimeters, we will find that a significant amount of bone can be harvested even from the poorest type of bone. This bone will be used to graft over the shoulder of the implant. After the osteotomy is satisfactorily completed, we check the presence of a floor and uh, four walls, making sure that there was no fenestration, dehiscences or perforations, no compromise to the adjacent tooth roots. And especially in this case, no compromise of the floor of the sinus. The implant is manipulated only through the sterile uh, plastic pouch in which it comes. Uh, it is never touched with gloved fingers or other instruments. It can be introduced in the osteotomy with the use of the uh, a black polyethylene plug that comes with it or a uh, inserter retriever that is available in the Bicon kit. Once it's placed completely or if it can't be, then it can be seated uh, with the use of 
the inserting tip. That tip allows for a gentle taps to be used to finalize the seating into the depth of the osteotomy. The black polyethylene plug is then introduced and cut or alternatively cut outside at an approximate length and then introduced to plug the well of the implant. Subsequently, the bone that's harvested is placed over the shoulders of the implant and a simple closure with a figure of eight suture is accomplished. At this point, an x-ray is taken and based on the density of the bone, we typically uncover the implants in a period of three months after placement. And upon uncovering the implant, the restoration is based on the sole discretion of the restoring dentist. The implant can be restored with an integrated abutment crown. It can also be restored with an all ceramic crown, with a porcelain fused to metal crown, um, and so on. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please refer to the Bicon website or call Bicon. Thank you.